Hello friends, uh, welcome to another episode on I to Z Home and Garden. Hope you are all having a nice day. Besides uh, uh, tomatoes, eggplant, um, another uh, plant that everyone likes to grow in their garden is uh, peppers. And I'm talking about the hot pepper. I am a hot uh, pepper loving person and uh, my heat tolerance is uh, quite a bit high. I'm going to show you today the care that you have to uh, take uh, for hot peppers and uh, how do you plant them and uh, how do you have an abundant uh, product out of it. If you see behind me, I have one, two, three, four, five Thai hot peppers and I got this from uh, my local nursery, Doan. They were all in the Ott Heim uh, Thai pepper section and I picked five plants and I got four different varieties and I've I've tried each and every one of them and their uh, pungency or punch is out of this world uh, it's very spicy so if you see I do not happen to have a lot of uh, foliage at the same time I have a lot of pepper that's because of the care that I've taken for my peppers and this is how you want them. I mean, you, you do not want uh, uh, unnecessary um, foliage to grow uh, out of control uh, without any fruit. You want a, a small plant with abundant fruit on them and all Thai peppers, what I observed is they are all prolific uh, producers. Especially uh, the autheim, if it is autheim, uh, there are different varieties in autheim. This is the white uh, autheim variety and this is another variety that I got this year and it's, uh, it looks like bird's eye pepper because it's pointing up, but I don't know what pepper that is. Uh, if you, if anyone of you know what, uh, what kind of Thai pepper that is, please leave me a comment and this is another uh, variety and this is the long kind and if you see this side I and mean, look how many plant is, plant looks very small but it it's fully loaded with peppers you want more peppers and less foliage that's what i'm trying to tell you when i planted this uh, plants in ground uh, there are some tips uh, that i took there is the video showing you the care that i took uh, while uh, planting these peppers and uh, one thing I did is added about two tablespoons of the garden restore when I planted these peppers and I think this is um, a discontinued or something and I can't find it in stores anymore the reason I preferred this is because of all the beneficial bacteria that is in there and uh, initially it needs a uh, high nitrogen so that is what it uh, that is what uh, um, and uh, peppers also need calcium so it has all the uh, minerals and uh, the beneficial bacteria that the uh, peppers need so that is the reason i prefer this if you do not have this what you can do is uh, you could find uh, any organic uh, fertilizer that is close to this combination and if you do not have this bacteria you, you can buy micro hazel fungi uh, directly from uh, amazon and you could buy any brand, stick to the reviews, uh, read the reviews and you could add that uh, during uh, planting season as well. And uh, one thing I, I've done is, if you see here, this is one thing uh, that I've done. I have cut off the tips uh, of some of the peppers and I'm going to do it after, uh, again after uh, harvesting these peppers. And what that did is it put out one, two, three four branches see one tip if you if you cut off one tip it put out one two three and four you got four branches so that is how you grow it bushy and not uh, in height so during the growing season uh, the initial phase it needs a little boost of nitrogen uh, not much once you have seen your peppers uh, setting flower uh, which turns into fruit uh, eventually that is when you want more uh, potassium and uh, phosphorus. What I do is uh, I actually give it a liquid uh, 
banana peel fertilizer and i'm going to post a video on how to do that uh, so if you want to watch that i'm going to give it in the description as well and you can see uh, the video for that and also you do not want to give it um, like i said i keep repeating myself do, during uh, this phase you do not want to give it more nitrogen otherwise plant is going to drop all its uh, flowers and start uh, putting out more leaves that's all it's going to do only in the initial phase give it a little boost of nitrogen and after that just uh, give it phosphorus and potassium and one more uh, thing that happened uh, during the growing season um, is uh, my plants got uh, affected by um, aphids and i used uh, um, neem oil to control my aphids that has uh, stunned my plants a bit but after i took care of the uh, aphid issue um, they started taking off and they, yeah, as you can see i mean they uh, they have so much fruit uh, than foliage and one more thing i did uh, is uh, i actually uh, planted i mean i actually uh, mulched this uh, peppers with uh, cardboard mulch and I, I mean i this is my favorite method of mulching cardboard mulch i don't do anything else and that has worked very well uh, in the uh, past and it's it's been working for me so i would say uh, you should also stick to cardboard mulch uh, one more uh, main uh, point you want to remember is uh, the placing of your peppers peppers are sun loving plants and especially the thai peppers they do not do well in shady areas these are also very easy to uh, grow in uh, pots at the same time if your uh, daytime temperatures go above 90 and your nighttime temperatures are above 80 degrees you won't see any uh, uh, any uh, flowers being produced do not worry that is uh, the plant going going through stress and at that point i mean just give it enough water uh, i mean even if you give it enough water whatever you do it's, it's not going to set fruit or don't uh, at that point some people think it's a, it's a waste and just pull it out but don't do it wait for an, uh, the temperatures to uh, subside and it will take off like uh, october uh, uh, august is also hot here in uh, zone 7b in dallas uh, mid of august to october it takes off and you'll have abundant uh, produce and one more thing is these peppers they they freeze very well so that is one reason i uh, grow these peppers and you could save your own seeds but uh, with hybrid peppers i mean i haven't had luck uh, producing the same uh, same kind uh, with those uh, saved seeds so i don't do it i just go to the nursery and buy uh, buy this uh, peppers again peppers are a acid loving plant and you want the soil acid levels to be between uh, 6 and 6.5 for that uh, uh, you could dilute a tablespoon of alum to a gallon and uh, um, and water your plants uh, what are the base of the plants and also you could add um, uh, pure coffee grounds a table or two tablespoons work it into the soil and that would acidify the soil as well these are the tips that you want to take and uh, one more homemade uh, remedy uh, to boost your peppers is uh, add about uh, two tablespoons of uh, epsom salt to a gallon of uh, water and uh, sprinkle it on your pepper plants and also water the base with it do that about um, once every two weeks and you will see uh, a tremendous uh, improvement in the health uh, of your uh, uh, pepper plants so those are the tips that uh, have worked for me in the past and i'm sharing the same tips with you so this is how i uh, take care of my thai pepper thank you all for your support and if you are liking my videos please do uh, like share subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss a notification and also please do leave comments uh, that way i would know uh, if you're liking my videos or if you have any questions uh, i will answer questions to the best of my knowledge and once again uh, thank you all for your support and i will catch you in the next video